Hello, it's Alison from Virtuali, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Google Form. And just remember, if you make a Google Form, um, the person who receives it doesn't automatically have to have a Gmail account to open it. Anybody can open it. So first of all, you go into your little Google Apps icon, you scroll down, and if for any reason you can't find Forms, if you press on the Even More from Google button, which takes you onto the product page and you just keep scrolling down, 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 and then you'll find all of their products listed alphabetically. So we're going to click on forms and you can have a personal form, which is for free, or if you have the business G Suite, which I also have, you can, it will be there already. So you go to Google Forms, you simply click on the blue button and that takes you in. And as you see here at the top, you can create a blank form or they have templates ready to collect contact information, RSVP, party invite, t-shirt sign up and event registration. And I'm just going to click a blank one just to show you what you can create for yourself. So you click on, bl on blank and here, for example, let's just imagine that you are a restaurant and you want to get some client survey feedback about what breakfast is like on a certain date. Maybe you had a trainee chef or something in. So you call your form, whatever you want to call it, breakfast survey feedback. You can write in here why you're also doing it. So we would like five minutes of your time to give us some feedback about our breakfast. So we can always be improving our service. And I think when people know why you're doing something, um, they will normally help you out. So that's as simple as that. And then you have the questions here. The good thing about Google Forms is you can have as many questions as you want because lots of other platforms, you're allowed to have 10 for free, including name and email, which really really means you're allowed to edit questions for free and then you have to pay for different options. But if it's just something simple, Google Forms is a very good option. So let's imagine we're trying to gauge what people, what people actually had for the breakfast. So your first question could be, um, what did you have? And of course, the important thing to say is here, you always want to think about what data you really want to collect. So in this scenario, we're actually trying to see what people like and what they're eating. And the good thing about the options here on the right hand side, you've got so many options for the answer. So you've short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down. You can upload a file, linear scale, tick box, date time, the whole lot. So we're going to go for multiple choice and let's just pretend we have porridge as an option. We have full Irish breakfast. Maybe someone just wanted eggs and bacon. Then we have some um, vegans who had the vegan option or none. And that way you've covered all of your bases. And then down in the right hand at the, at the very bottom corner here, you've got required. So you just slide that over and you'll see that makes it uh, an answer that people have to answer. They just can't skip that by. And if for any reason you don't like that question, you can simply delete it. And if you want to duplicate the same style, you simply press duplicate. But that's just for the sake of argument. We'll put in another uh, question, which is just up here on the right. And again, you have you can add a question, you can import questions, and um, you can add an image, you can add a video, you can add a section. We're just going to go for add question. And so the second question could be then, how did you enjoy your breakfast? And let's just imagine we want that on uh, a linear scale. So if I rate, write on a scale of one to five, how would you rate your breakfast? And you can see there that Google was really smart because as soon as I wrote in the word scale, it changed the response to linear scale. And here you can have one to five, they've put one to five, you can have one to 10, you can have one to three, you can have whatever you want, as long as you label properly what it is. So let's now say, say one is very poor and five is excellent. So as long as you know what the options are in between, again, we move that to required. 
and then say we put the third question as what date did you eat in our restaurant? And you see, again, Google is smart there. It knows I want a date, so it changes the option to a date. And um, we're going to move that to required as well. So that, that's how simple it is. You just keep adding questions as you want. You can move them around. Um, you can move them around simply by moving that if you don't like where they are, which is very useful because sometimes you do write them and you change your mind. And then for the responses, so that was the questions. For the responses, you click on the top. And this is the great thing about Google because it actually saves all your answers to a spreadsheet. So if you put on accepting responses is ticked on here, you click your spreadsheet and it then takes, um, you see, I actually forgot to title this form to so call it breakfast survey. And you'll see that then um, that's my that's where, where it'll save it inside your Google Drive. Or you could have the situation where you're collecting surveys like this on different dates, but you want them all to be in sort of one uh, one Google Sheet. And if you create, if you take on select existing spreadsheet, it creates it as a new tab on a sheet that already exists, which is also very useful. So you have, so you go back to, oops, you go back to the questions. You see, that's how it comes up then, um, how, it, how it will look. And then you can move, Whenever you get your data, you can, um, you know, you can spread out your columns. You can move the columns around. You can create a filter view if you want to filter how many eggs and bacon there was. You can do whatever you want, which is the real beauty of it. And if we go back to our form, then go back to questions. Um, I forgot to give it. There we go. Copied it over. And then for the actual background here, if you just click on the little palette, you'll see that there's a little palette here on top. You can choose your image. They have some stock images in here you can use. Let's just um, see what they have under party. Maybe not so much for food, but we'll click some muffins. And you can change your theme color. Maybe you want it branded in the colors of your own business. Um, you can put the hex codes in there if you know them, or you can look them up quite easily if you don't. And you can change the font sign. You can change whatever you want. So it's all, it's all really very, very user friendly. And then you can preview it here by clicking the little button in case you don't see anything that you like. And when you go back then to actually send it, you press the big send button and you know it doesn't actually send it right away, so don't be scared. It just shows you the options. So the first option is it sends to email, so you can put in a list of emails, you can put in one email, it automatically brings in the subject and it automatically has this message. So you can change that to whatever you want. You can also tick this box and then it includes the survey within an email if you prefer to do it like that. Or you can go here to the link and you can copy the link and paste it wherever you want or you can shorten it. You could, for example, copy the link and um, create a Bitly account, copy your link into Bitly and then post it on all the different social media platforms or wherever it happens to be and actually see which social media platform most people are replying to, which is also useful if, if it's not this survey, but something else. And you can embed the link as well. Maybe you want to embed the link permanently into your website for some reason, and you can share it with Facebook and Twitter. So that's really how easy it is. It is, it is fantastic. Um, so I hope you have lots of fun with that and you go off and create all the surveys that you want. And if anybody needs any help, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you.